Hello, and may the Lord be with you today, November 23rd. Thank you for joining me as we continue to work through our liturgical calendar, remembering all these people, all these feast days that we have. And today is a special one. It's Clement of Rome, a bishop and one of the earliest popes of the city. And again, it's kind of odd that we would remember a Roman bishop, a Roman pope, but he is one of the Apostolic Fathers. Now, I believe we've mentioned one of these before, but the Apostolic Fathers is that generation directly after the Apostles. This would be like Polycarp. Uh, and then Clement is one of them. And he's believed to be mentioned by Paul directly. But he has a somewhat of a high role in the Roman Church. And we only have one writing that we have left from him. And it's his one letter to the church in Corinth. Now, if you remember, we have our two letters to the Corinthians in the Bible, and they don't do so well most of the time. They have all kind of issues. There's sexual immorality, all kind of things just going on all the time that Paul has to write these big lengthy letters telling them to stop. But again, after the apostles have passed in the next generation, again, they have issues. This time's in regard to how they work together. There's people trying to take it the church a different way. They're pushing against their bishop, against their pastor, against their deacons. There's different parties forming. It's not a unified church. It's very divided. It's very schismatic, wanting to go its own way, do its own thing. And today, instead of a Bible verse, I'm going to read some of Clement's letter, because it shows just this pure focus on Christ alone. And you can find this really easy online. The translations are all free. If you just type in 1 Clement, you can follow along. But today is just going to be 1 Clement, chapter 49. Let the one who has love in Christ fulfill the commandments of Christ. Who can describe the bond of God's love? Who is able to explain the majesty of its beauty? The height to which love leads is indescribable. Love unites us with God. Love covers a multitude of sins. Love endures all things, is patient in all things. There is nothing coarse, nothing arrogant in love. Love knows nothing of schisms. Love leads no rebellions. Love does everything in harmony. In love, all the elect of God were made perfect. Without love, nothing is pleasing to God. In love, the Master received us. Because of the love that he had for us, Jesus Christ, our Lord, in accordance with God's will, gave his blood for us and his flesh for our flesh and his life for our life. Now, the letter obviously is quite long, but it goes on and on in that same vein, that it's all about Jesus. It's all united with him. There's no place in the church for schisms or pride. It's all about Jesus. If you will be prideful, take pride in the Lord. And so that is what he's really remembered for. And he is, by tradition, he was martyred under the emperor Trajan. And there'll be a symbol on the screen now that is his symbol. And it's of an anchor on a white background. And he was reportedly martyred by being tied to an anchor and thrown into the sea. And again, as we've talked about before, usually the saints and the martyrs, their symbol becomes the way that they were martyred, by a saw, by an axe, by an upside-down cross, whatever it may be. So, today we remember this apostolic father, St. Clement of Rome. You remember all that he did, he wrote, and how he focused the church in Corinth again back on that one thing, the one thing that is needful, to focus in on the love of Jesus Christ. So I invite you now to pray with me. Almighty God, your servant Clement of Rome called the church in Corinth to repentance and faith to unite them in Christian love. Grant that your church may be anchored in your truth by the presence of the Holy Spirit and kept blameless in your service until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Again, thank you for tuning in today as we remember this servant of God, St. Clement of Rome. I would encourage you that if you have time or whatever, or you're interested, go and just do a quick Google search of the letter from Clement's own hand, First Clement, and just peruse it a little bit, read it over. I know we had, it was on the 49th chapter today, but the chapters are a lot shorter than you think. It's not that long of a read. 
I would encourage you to read it because, again, it's just another way that we see that the church is focusing on Jesus. That's all we got. That is our message from the beginning until today. So I'd encourage you to do that. And our next video will be November 29th, where we're studying Noah. Yeah, Noah's Ark and all of that. So I hope you tune in then, and I pray that the Lord blesses your day.